Nintendo amazed fans recently when they showcased the next game in the Zelda franchise. Called Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, this is expected to be the spiritual successor to Breath of the Wild. If you can't wait to learn just what juicy details we found out about this upcoming game from its trailer, we've got you covered. In today's video, we'll break down all the must-know details and more, so let's dive in. First off, the story seems to be taking a dark turn. While The Legend of Zelda has historically been a very colorful and light franchise, we've got a taste of the dark and grim from time to time too. We're sure everyone remembers Majora's Mask, which was a story filled with anguish and sadness. Tears of the Kingdom seems to be taking a similar approach, with the opening shots of the trailer taking us through what appears to be a mural depicting some ancient godlike being. From the murals, we can see that the deity, whoever that may be, is seemingly sitting atop a platform in the sky. Around him are seven orbs that could be collectible items that we come across in the game. We wouldn't be surprised if our goal is to go across the land and collect these seven orbs before this supposedly evil god can get them. That's not where the murals end though. As we said, things seem dark this time around, and in one of the murals, we see a figure that looks like Zelda. She's been captured by this godlike creature and is being kept in whatever sky platform where it resides. This then cuts to Link as he's jumping from a platform in the sky. Rain begins to fall, and he heads straight towards the ground. It's a spectacular visual, and we wonder if it links to some sort of in-game mechanic too. Nintendo has already added that we're going to be heading off to the sky in this newly expanded world that they're introducing in this game, and so we imagine that there's going to be new ways to leap from one platform to the next as we explore the skies. Next, could Zelda be in need of rescuing? This isn't the first time Zelda has found herself within the clutches of some evil tyrant bent on destroying the world. This tried and tested storyline has played out countless times in the past, and it looks like something similar is happening yet again in Tears of the Kingdom. Hey, if it works, it works, right? Based on the murals we've seen in the trailer, Zelda will will likely be stuck in one such sky platform, and it'll be up to Link to find his way up and rescue her. It's possible that the sky region in the game is something that's locked until players fulfill a certain requirement. If we had to guess, we'd think those seven orbs that were teased earlier will be what unlocks our traversal to the skies and beyond. It'll be quite interesting to see half of the game play out on the ground and the other up above. There are loads of unique gameplay possibilities and a lot of cool scenery and sights that can be added due to this storyline, and we honestly can't wait to see them for ourselves. The mural segment of the video ends with Zelda touching hands with a figure off screen. There's loads of speculation regarding what this could mean, but one of the most prominent ones leads back to the initial reveal trailer from 2019. According to this, Zelda has been infected with blight. Can you imagine facing a boss version of her that's possibly become evil due to this sickness? Now that's a concept we'd love to see. Plus, we wonder what the title could be hinting at. Tears of the Kingdom is definitely an interesting title for a Zelda game. There's plenty of information we can't infer from the game's focus on the sky and the new world beyond. One theory is that the tears could simply be referring to rain in this case. This is backed by the fact that it's raining when Link jumps from the platform at the end of the mural segment, and the kingdom in this case might be the floating platforms we've seen hinted at earlier. The rain could even have some deeper meaning. Some fans are speculating that it might even be the cure to the supposed blight that spread across Hyrule. It's possible that if players collect an orb from a certain area, it directs the blight curing rain there, causing that portion of Hyrule to be free of the sickness. All of this is just inference though, so let's take it with a grain of salt. But with the importance given to the rain, and all the other details we know about the game so far, it seems like it's all fitting together. The kingdom mentioned in the title is also something we fully expect to explore when the game comes out. A part of the demo even shows us Link using a platform to go high up in the sky. So it's likely that players will have the option to go from the ground to this new kingdom in the sky. The trailer also showcases a flying device that Link is using, which we think might play a part in how he gets around from one place to another. Let's also mention the hints to Ouroboros. Zelda games aren't strangers to playing around with the concept of time and cycles. In fact, Link is given the title of the Hero of Time in the Ocarina of Time game, and it seems like Tears of the Kingdom might be taking a similar route with its storyline. There's a hint to the Ouroboros. This is an ancient symbol that shows a serpent or a dragon eating its own tail. It's historically been a part of Egyptian iconography, but many Greek cultures also believed it to have magical significance. The symbol is meant to showcase a repeating cycle that supposedly goes on till infinity. And if you're wondering what that has to do with Zelda, well, the symbol was quite clearly featured in the new trailer. In one of the scenes where Link appears, he's seen opening two massive doors that lead up to many different stony islands in the sky. These islands were seen in previous trailers as well. The interesting bit is that these two doors link together to form a dragon that's very reminiscent of the Ouroboros symbol. Considering how tightly packed with details the trailer is, this is definitely no coincidence. We 
we wonder how the concept of infinity and repeating timelines could play a part in the game. The symbol also has to do with rebirth and the cycle of life. Link and Zelda are endlessly stuck in a loop of being saved and needing to be saved, and so this seems to be an ongoing theme in the franchise. With that said, we're interested to find out how this symbol will relate more deeply to the story and its themes. We also can't help but talk about all of Link's cool new equipment. The trailer shows us some cool new swag that Link will be getting in this game. An item that stuck out to us was a brand new shield that he's sporting. We wonder if it'll have some interesting gameplay abilities or mechanics attached to it. There are also some vials of green fluid on his hip that we can't wait to find out more about. Considering this is likely linked to the green energy that was seen oozing out of Ganondorf in the first trailer, it's sure to be an important item. Link is also seen reversing time at one point in the trailer, and we wonder if this is due to some new item or equipment he might have acquired. And of course, we've got to mention that stone glider he was seen riding on. Traversal has always played a huge part in Breath of the Wild. Players could really get creative with how they chose to get from one spot to the next in the game. And with these gliders, it looks like that tradition is being continued forward. Finally, when can we expect this game to be released? Luckily, the trailer launched with a confirmed release date, so we can skip the guessing game and cut right to the chase. The game will be released on May 12, 2023. Considering Breath of the Wild came out in 2017, that's quite a significant wait, but we're hoping it'll be worth it. With how promising and interesting the footage seems to be, we've little doubt that Tears of the Kingdom could match, if not beat, 2017's Breath of the Wild, but we'll have to wait until the game comes out to truly be sure of that. If you're wondering what game to try out until May, we've got a fun choice. Elden Ring is FromSoft's latest open-world title that we're sure you've already heard of. It also puts a focus on exploration, seeking out powerful runes that open the way to a specific part of the map. These aspects are definitely like bread and butter to Zelda games, which is why we think fans of the franchise might like trying it out. That's a wrap for this video. Are you excited to try out Tears of the Kingdom? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.